Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So back in December of 2016, I built my monster Linux PC. And at that time, that was the most powerful machine I'd ever built. But now we're approaching 2020 and I have made some slight upgrades. And so today I want to talk about whether or not going from 16 gigs of RAM over to 32 gigs of RAM makes a difference, especially for somebody who is an everyday user who does some light gaming, but most importantly does a lot of video editing specifically in 4K. Now before I get into that, let me show you some of the components that I have in my PC. So the first thing that I have is the processor. I have an Intel Core i7-6700K. In terms of my motherboard, I have an MSI Z178 Tomahawk AC. For my GPU, I have an MSI AMD Radeon RX 470. And for all my storage, I pretty much use nothing but SSDs. And I just added this Samsung 500 gig SSD. But I also have a mechanical drive as well with four terabytes of storage. And the RAM that I have in there right now is 16 gigs of 3000 megahertz RAM. And now I'm gonna add an additional 16 gigs of RAM running at 3200 megahertz. So let's go ahead and see whether or not adding this additional RAM makes a difference. Because at the end of the day, if you actually wanted to prove the overall performance of your current PC, the best way to do that is through more RAM and faster storage. And I already have the fast storage, so now it's time to add some more RAM. And so here are my 8 gig sticks, adding up to 16 gigs of total additional memory. So let's go ahead and install them. So this is what I currently have. I have two 8 gig sticks and I have two additional DIMM slots where I could put more RAM. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I have the new RAM installed. So I should have a total of 32 gigs of RAM. So let's go ahead and check this out. So I restarted my machine and I'm in my BIOS now. And as you can see, I have a little over 32 gigs of RAM. So let's see what difference this makes. And so now I'm back in my system and let's see how much RAM we have. We have 32 gigs of RAM. And so before I start anything, let me show you the real world power of having a lot of RAM. As you could probably see here, I have a lot of things open. And if I open up my system monitor, I've used up 23.7 gigs of 31 gigs of my total system memory. Now let me show you how many things I have running. The first thing is I have Windows 10 in its own virtual machine. And so here I have a lot of things open. I have multiple tabs here and I have other tabs here as well on the Chrome browser. And then if you actually look at my Windows Task Manager, um, I'm currently uh, running things at about 21% CPU, 25% memory, because I have about 14 gigs allocated to this virtual machine, and everything in here still runs just fine, which is pretty impressive. But not only that, when I go back to my main operating system, I have a ton of browsers open. I think this is the biggest problem when you actually have a lot of tabs, and I have Firefox here, I have Chromium here. These are all graphic intensive multimedia Sykes, as you can see here. And then I also have another Chrome browser open here with multiple tabs uh, that have a lot of demanding websites, as you can see here. But it's able to run this just fine. And then I also have my video editors. I have Caden Live right here. And I could easily just see how things are going with not a lot of problems. But I also have OpenShot here as well. And as you can see there, everything's running. Plus, I'm also screen recording. That is insane. And at least when it comes to video editing, if you have a lot more RAM, it's going to improve your overall workflow. Now, a lot of people, when they talk about adding more RAM, they're primarily thinking about the rendering time. But what I think about is your workflow. And so the more RAM that you have, then the more things you can have in your timeline without having a lot of slowdown and stutter. And these right here are open source video editors. But when you get to more professional video editors like Adobe Premiere or especially DaVinci Resolve, having a lot of RAM makes a huge difference because it allows you to scrub through your projects a lot quicker. It allows you to add more titles, more effects, all of those things are going to help improve your overall time whenever you are working on a lot of different projects and especially more complex projects. And so those are like the real world benefits of having 32 gigs of RAM. But now let's get over to gaming, which is something that I don't do as much. But in terms of real world use 
for content creation, for everyday use, and for extreme usage like I have here, having more RAM is awesome. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So when it comes to gaming, I didn't really see a huge difference of going from 16 gigs of RAM over to 32 gigs of RAM. And as I stated earlier, I am not a serious gamer. Most of what I do is casual gaming in the Steam store, or more importantly, retro gaming through emulation, which hardly requires any power or RAM. But if I had to think of some of the benefits, maybe your games will load a little bit faster. And if you have a game with a lot of things going on, having more RAM definitely doesn't hurt. But I think for the majority of people out there, if you have 16 gigs of RAM and more importantly, a good GPU and CPU, then you won't really see a big difference upgrading to 32 gigs of RAM. However, as I showed you a little bit earlier, if you are the type of person who loves having a lot of programs, tabs open, and you do a lot of multitasking, then having that additional RAM will be awesome. And if you are a video editor, especially 4K video, and you have complex projects with a lot of effects, text, and so forth, then having that additional RAM will greatly improve your overall workflow and also your rendering times as well. And so those are my thoughts on having 16 gigs of RAM versus 32 gigs of RAM. And if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you wanted to see my original PC build back in 2016, I will leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.